Good morning. I did something to my hair. We're having Chipotle for dinner. It hurt really bad. And I almost threw up. So it's time for a survivor snack haul. This is what I look like right now. Sorry about it. <laughs> it is like 10 o'clock. It's 9.55 in the morning. I just kind of got out of bed and made myself breakfast. I did have an alarm set for seven, but I was extremely tired because I woke up for two hours in the middle of the night. So I just wanted to sleep in, so I did. And I woke up starving, so I made myself, well I have been making overnight oats lately because it's so easy to just throw it in the bowl and put some toppings on it. And I also have my matcha, of course. I have a lot to do today. I have a big to-do list that I'm forcing myself to get done. And of course, it's the gloomiest, rainiest day on this day when I'm trying to have motivation. I would normally take my prenatal with breakfast, but when they tested me for gestational diabetes, they also looked at my hemoglobin and the nurse said the results were like just okay. Like it was 34. I think the minimum you want it to be is 30 or something. Um, so I looked up like how I can increase my iron intake as somebody who doesn't really eat meat or animal products most of the time. And sorry if you can hear my washer, it's laundry day and I have so much laundry to do. There's nothing I can do about that sound. I know it's annoying. But it said don't eat iron blockers. So I looked up iron blockers. And apparently green tea is, can limit your absorption of iron. So I always have matcha with breakfast. So I'm going to try taking my prenatals with dinner time from now on. With dinner time. With dinner <laughs> from now on. And see if my hemoglobin goes up next time they test me. I'm going to eat my breakfast. And then I'm going to do a little morning at home workout. Just did my skincare, and now I'm about to do a little quick workout. My washer's so loud. It's so loud. I like to use Sarah's Day's, she calls it Sissy Timer. There's a bunch of different pre-made timers in here that like go with her workouts. You can also do a custom timer, but I usually just use the 30-minute the Pilates one, and then I'll just do whatever exercises I feel like doing. Those are the exercises I'm doing today. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know if you could see that at all. Yeah, I'm gonna work out and then get on the grind. I did something to my hair that I have not done in several years because I have been hating my hair so much. I've been thinking it's so ugly and I still think it's ugly. <laughs> I straightened it, I haven't done this in years. Um, I bought a straightener last night because I didn't have one and now I can tell how stinking dead my ends are. I feel ugly no matter what I do. I am going to schedule a haircut today. I'm putting it on my list. I'm not happy. You know what's crazy is how much this weather affects me. Like yesterday it was sunny. It was like 75 degrees. And I was so motivated and so excited to get so much stuff done. And now I just feel so, like, not energized. Like, I feel dead. Like, I don't even have the energy to, like, smile. <laughs> so, it really sucks that it's like this on my day off. My hair is already starting to curl. I put it in a clip because I hate it. Um, so, that's cool. This is my to-do list. Can you even see it? I'll just read it to you. Find a dentist and make a dentist appointment because I've been thinking about it for weeks. Make an eye doctor appointment to get more contacts. Cancel my gym membership and I have to go there to do it, which is so annoying. But I want to cancel it because I just don't use it enough. I'd rather just do workouts at home with my dumbbells or go on a walk or do like a Pilates video on YouTube. And the gym that I go to is basically just machines and I don't really like working out with just machines, so I'm just gonna cancel it. I need to schedule orientation at the birth center, pick up a package, edit my video. I need to clean my bathroom and I need to get money on my laundry card because our dryer has been broken for like a month and we've been hang drying our clothes for that long and all our sheets and our bedding and everything we've been hang drying. 
But I think because I refuse to give my apartment complex any more money than they already take from me, but I have to give in today because I'm so sick of having stiff clothes from hang drying them, like, and my sheets don't feel as good. I just want to feel, like, more comfortable in my clothes. So today I'm giving in. I'm doing a shit ton of laundry and drying it in the apartment laundromat, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to just push through this terrible gloom that I'm feeling right now. I think I was born to live in Arizona or Southern California. I don't want to say that I want to be a valley girl, but I kind of do. I, uh, I don't want to elaborate. Okay, I just got back. My package still hasn't been delivered to the FedEx site, which is annoying because the only reason I did it was because I wasn't going to be home when it was going to be delivered yesterday and it required a signature. So now I have to wait for it to be delivered to the FedEx access, access point even though I'm home. So this is annoying. I'm going to show you the most satisfying thing on um, my to-do list on the reminders app. I can just... Oh, just yeah. What's the other thing? Oh, cancel your membership. Oh my god. Best thing ever. Now I'm gonna clean up this and make some clothes. Hello Sherry. I was wondering if I could schedule a haircut for Wednesday, April 6th. And what time of day? Do you have anything from like three to four? Okay, I've got it in there. There you go, we'll see you next Wednesday on the 6th. Okay, thank you. Okay. We're having Chipotle for dinner. And we went and got dessert first, we got Sonic Blast. This is like a five out of 10. I think I can say it with some sprinkles. Yum, we're eating it on our painting table because we don't have a coffee table or a dining table and we're efficient. I saw someone um, on TikTok say that if you eat your Chipotle like mixed together, then you're a psychopath. Do you mix yours? Mm-hmm, I always do. I don't, she like ate it like bite, bite, bite like this <clears throat> instead of mixing it. That seems weird to me. Your chip sale? No. My dehumidifier is running. I don't know if you can hear that, but listen. I was feeling a little bit anxious <laughs> about things that are basically out of my control. So I compulsively, obsessively cleaned my apartment for like three hours. And now I'm feeling much more calm. But I have done like eight loads of laundry today. I dusted my baker's rack in the kitchen. I dusted every piece of furniture in the house, but I didn't show that because it was just too annoying. And I also cleaned my bathroom from top to bottom, um, but I didn't show that because there's that's also annoying. Cleaning the bathroom is the most tedious, most annoying household chore. I hate it. It's the worst. I also meal prepped some beans. So those will be ready for tomorrow when we need to eat. Earlier, we went on a few outside the house trips. <laughs> we went to Menards. You save big money. Oh, Menards, my, if there is a form of torture specific to me, it's hardware stores. I literally hate being in hardware stores. Like, I can't explain it. I don't know why. I actually just freaking hate it. It's the worst place in the world. It smells weird. It's so boring. I just don't want to be in Menards, but... We needed to get a metal file and some metal cutters. Shane is trying to make some rings out of spoons, which would be fun. And we went to Google and found some cool silverware so he can make rings. I wanted to show the package that I got today. Oh, I love Glossier. Look at this cute pink bubble wrap. Are you kidding me? Obsessed. This was my late birthday present to myself. I really have been wanting this, a new perfume for a while because I'm out. I haven't had any. And this is the cutest. I've heard such great things about this. Glossier U. I actually had never smelled this before I bought it. I've literally not heard one bad thing about it. I've heard literally every person that has it rave about it. So I got it. I want it. I got it. And it smells so good. It's very subtle and it changes 
as you wear it like any perfume does. It starts off a little bit more musky, but not like in a bad way, not like in a cologne, like a men's cologne way. And then I noticed as I was wearing it, it was getting a little bit sweeter, but very subtly. It was, it's really good. It's a very natural, yummy smell. I feel like if you have naturally straight hair, I just want you to know you're blessed because I feel like with straight hair, you can like put it back in a clip like this and it looks great. You can throw it up in a ponytail or a bun, a slick back bun, it looks great. You can just brush your hair and leave. Maybe put in some hair serum or something. It looks great. Like, I am so jealous. I've just been hating my hair recently. I hate all the little flyaways that I have and I don't know what to do about them. Yeah, it's 11.13 and my comforter is not dry yet and I haven't showered, haven't gotten ready for bed. I feel so awake right now because I just have been cleaning for three hours. I'm gonna read some Bridgerton. I'm reading, because I'm reading Bridgerton right now. I'm not very far into it. I've been having a hard time reading because I feel so anxious all the time. And I feel like it gives me like adrenaline and I have to be up and doing something. It's so hard for me to sit down and relax sometimes. And I'm going to try to get some sleep. Okay, I did the vlog last night, but then I felt like there was not enough footage and it was kind of lame. I don't know. I didn't actually look at the footage, but I just felt that way in my heart. So it's the next day. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Um, we have an ultrasound at one and it's like 12.05. And I'm prepping us some salads to have as a to-go lunch in the car later. I need a battery, hold on. Anyway, so we need to leave in like 20 minutes. Well, ideally it would be 20 minutes, but in all actuality, we'll probably be leaving a few minutes later than we should be because that's just how we roll, I guess. I'm wearing this top that I thrifted forever ago. I forgot I had it. I was going through my closet to like see what fits me right now. And I found this. <laughs> it doesn't look cute. It would look really cute open with like a sports bra underneath, but none of my sports bras really fit me right now. I did a workout this morning and the sports bra I wore was like really tight on me and like rolling up because it just doesn't fit. So I'm going with it like it's unbuttoned at the bottom. I was telling Shane, I feel like that there's like that classic like old movie where there's a pregnant mom like painting the nursery and that's what I look like. It fits, so we're going with it. I don't know what I'm gonna do to, to make the dressing because it, I normally would put a teaspoon of honey in it, but I used only honey this morning in my matcha, so I don't know what I'm gonna use to sweeten a little bit. I don't even have maple syrup. Do you have a cup of black beans? Um, I saw Shane do this and it's actually a great idea. Like in the cooked beans, he just gets out a scoop and rinses it under the sink in the slotted spoon. Very clever. So I'm just gonna eyeball half a cup. Then I'm gonna do half of an avocado in each. I'm gonna do some corn. You know what, this is frozen, but it'll fall, okay? a red onion really quick. Cilantro is also really good in this, but my cilantro Instead of mixing the dressing in its own bowl, I'm just gonna save myself some washing and make it in here. Do a little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon. Salt. Some cumin. Some lime juice. Some pepper. Ah. Uh, I found this honey, but it's like so crystallized. This is local honey that we got forever ago and it's been sitting in our cabinet and I just found it. I'm gonna see if I can mix a little bit of it with water to use it right now, because I don't think it expires. You need like a teaspoon in each salad. Oh my God, it's so thick. Shane says he thinks we can decrystallize it somehow. I just have to look it up. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's so thick. Mm, I don't know what else to use to sweeten the salad because I don't want to use sugar because then it'll be like crystallized. Maybe if I blended it, it would have turned out better. I don't have time for that. This is a disaster. Yes! 
this is so a disaster! I'm just gonna pour it in. I don't know what else to do. There we have it. Okay. I'm pretty sure we'll be starving by the end of my month and we'll want this. I'm also gonna put in whatever's left of these almonds just in case I want a snack. This is me. I take food everywhere. I feel like I always need to be prepared. We have to go now, so. Cute. Big stretch. We came to the park for lunch. Yeah, we did. I was gonna pass out. This bitch got her blood drawn. Um, the name science. of science. Yeah. They wanted to see it. There's like a research study they're doing to see if they can separate my blood type from the baby's blood type, like for a, for Rh negative moms. So they're supposed to get three vials of blood, but I think the lady tied the band too tight because after this the first two, my blood stopped flowing and my arm turned red and swollen and it hurt really bad and I almost threw up. Almost flew it up. <laughs> Sign. <laughs> <laughs> the sign that says what the tree is. Wow. <laughs> Were you so proud of me at first? Yes, I was. <laughs> I yeah. shouldn't have said anything about the sign. <laughs> so look at the red buds coming. You can always tell because of these things. They always have some hanging. Seed pods. Eastern red bud. I was proud of you for a second. Dude, your face, you were like... <laughs> this is going to be so windy and so windy. Like, oh, no, we so <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go to Whole Foods for like three weeks. And it's survivor night, so we're getting snacks. I'm going to do a little snack haul, but first I feel like I need to clarify. Getting my blood drawn was voluntary. It's like for a study that they're doing to see if they can get my baby's RH value from my blood because I'm A negative, so they're doing it on RH negative mothers. It was the worst blood draw experience I've had so far. I looked at the needle, which I shouldn't have done. I started getting really hot and like, I thought I was gonna throw up and my arm swelled and my blood stopped flowing. I think I said that. Anyway, the baby looked really good. They said that his belly is in like the 77th percentile or something. So he's gonna be a chunker, I think. And his face is so cute. Every time they would like get a little of his face, I'm like, it's so cute. So it's time for a survivor snack haul. First, we got these Parmesan garlic chips that we've already eaten a little bit of. They're not as good as the Kettle Brand Honey Bichon chips, but they're so good. And then I got this edible cookie dough. It's plant-based and it's made from chickpeas. It has coconut sugar and almond butter. So pretty good ingredients. So I'm excited to try that later. That'll be my little dessert. And for my drink, I got this Calamon Sea sparkling water. I think I've mentioned I follow Jasmine and Chris on Sweet Simple Vegan and she loves these. And then we went to Dorothy Lane Market, which is like a local store. It's a little bit more high-end, but they have really, really good pizza. So Shane got this to have for survivor night. So now I'm gonna put dinner on. I'm gonna make some minestrone soup and edit for a little bit before survivor starts. Yum. Listen, Harry Styles announced his next album today and I am so excited. I literally, like this baby's gonna come out knowing Harry Styles' voice better than my own and I'm gonna have to turn on Harry Styles at two in the morning to soothe my baby because he's gonna be so, he's gonna think Harry Styles' voice is his mother's voice at this point. I already listen to Harry Styles quite frequently, but it's about to go insane, okay? I'm 
try this edible cookie dough. Wait, it was not what I thought it would. This is what like I thought it would be there. I don't like that. That is not like cookie dough. It's not bad, but it doesn't taste like cookie dough. The chocolate chips are like not hard. Don't get this. It's not good. It's time for me to end the vlog. I'm in the bathroom right now, so that's why right. it might sound a little bit echoey. I feel like it sounds echoey. I'm gonna take a shower and take my magnesium that they prescribed me to help me sleep, and it literally has me so zonked after like 20 minutes. It's really good stuff. I'm gonna try a new thing tonight. I'm going to try to put my phone across the room so when the alarm goes off in the morning, I have to get out of bed. I've heard that people do that. I feel like it might piss me off in the moment, but it will do me good in the long run because it will get me out of bed. I won't feel so bad about laying in bed on my phone. I hope that that works for me. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. This will be the last vlog that I film in this style. <laughs> and then we'll be on the weekly vlog sort of thing. Plus pregnancy updates and stuff like that. So I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. That was my elbow slamming across the counter. It did not fart. <laughs>